listen to the weather is really starting to come down out there jeez I wonder why they didn't pick up my calls maybe it was just really bad cell reception from the rain that has to be it I mean I went through all this trouble coming home late to get their favourite food for them oh you're already home I didn't expect you to have company over you guys got caught up in the rain and wanted to dry off well that's a good idea you don't want to get sick after all that's fine of course I don't mind that he's in one of my dry shirts that's absolutely fine if you don't mind I'm just gonna excuse myself I have a few things I need to sort in my room talk to you guys in a bit jeez I can't believe that they have someone over and who does he think he is drying them down like that in my shirt getting all close oh, this sucks I gave them that shirt so that they can fall asleep with a part of me not to give to some guy who is he and why does my chest feel like it's going to burst this isn't right I feel so out of place Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm okay. Why do you ask? I didn't seem upset. I was just a little tired and I thought I'd go to bed early. The weather must have really taken it out of me. Plus, when I got back, I thought I would give you two some alone time. After all, you did seem rather close and I didn't want to interrupt. Is he your boyfriend or something? <laughs> it's none of my business. You're just my roomie and you're free to be around whomever you want. I just wasn't expecting you to be with another guy. I brought something back for you and that's why I was so late. I thought you might have wanted to watch a movie and have something to eat. That's why I called so much. But it was just like the first time when I moved in here. It's what we'd done. I understand. I'm sure you have other plans. That sounds great. Wait, you want to do all that? But what about him? He's already left? I don't understand. I didn't know he was just visiting from out of town, but I guess that makes sense why you didn't want him to go home soaked. God, I'm such an idiot. I saw him in my shirt and you guys together and I didn't think there would be any other reason. I just jumped to the first conclusion and got hung up on it. I don't pay too much attention to what's going on with you. I just I care about you. You're my roomie after all and it's just the two of us out here. Gosh, it makes me seem like I'm jealous over you or something and that we're already a couple but say something like that. I know people always mistake us for one and it always makes me feel so embarrassed when we get called out like that. Just because everyone always sees how well we get along. They see how involved and connected we are and maybe it just makes them a little envious of what we have and they don't. I feel like I'm talking way too much and just a little nervous and Relieved. Why am I relieved? Well, it's just us now. That makes me feel a lot better. It's the way it should be. <laughs> look at you. Why do you want me to look at you? I already told you that I'm fine. Fine, but when you ask me to look at you, it makes me feel a particular way. I can just tell that you're getting equally flustered. You know, when you look at me like that, I can't help but feel like I'm falling for you. I've honestly always felt that way towards you. The moment I met you, I just couldn't take my eyes off you. I thought you were gorgeous, and that was so captivating. I've never been able to help that feeling. But when I saw you with him today, 
it almost crushed me. That's probably why my chest felt so tight. I never want to feel like that again. And that's why I want to tell you. I don't want anyone to ever have you besides me. I want you to be mine. <laughs> don't look at me like that, it's embarrassing. You have something to tell me now? What is it? Wait, you're telling me that he left because you rejected him? I can't believe it. I didn't know that he liked you, but you've always felt this way towards me too. That was so nice of you to take care of him before you had to go. But I had no idea you felt the same way towards me this entire time. <laughs> I feel so happy right now. That's why you always pretended to have bad dreams and fall asleep beside me on the couch. I'm not going to lie. I always loved when you fell asleep beside me. It was the little things that I look forward to at night. I can always wish you would do it. I can't believe you actually done that on purpose. You're so sneaky. <laughs> well, well, why don't I get up so that I can make us something to eat? And then we can cuddle up together and listen to the sound of the rain. We can stay up talking all night too. I also, I hope you still have my t-shirt by the way. <laughs> you know, the only reason I gave you that was so when you fell asleep, it would be like I was there with you. And then, okay, don't laugh at this. I wanted you to get used to the comforting scent of me. <laughs> okay, good, you actually got it back. I almost had a heart attack when I seen him with it. Jeez, you know, I have no idea how crazy that just made me. I felt all kinds of emotions. I'm just really so glad that you decided to finally tell me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of told you first, but you felt the same way. And that really does make me so happy. <laughs> can't wait to be together with you. Fall asleep on the couch. Okay, okay, let's stop procrastinating. Come on, take my hand. Let's go through. <laughs>